Who will join LIV Golf next? What the world's top 30 players said about the Saudi breakaway series. In this video, let's find out who will join LIV Golf next. And we share what the world's top 30 golf players said about the new Saudi breakaway series. Bad news for the PGA and the DP Tour. Now players are looking to leave and earn a large sum of money. According to golf super agent Andrew Chubby Chandler, LIV Golf recently turned down two of the top 30 players in the world because they demanded large payments. Chandler, who was representing Richard Bland in talks to join the Saudi-sponsored tour set of the breakaway series, tearing golf apart. They don't need that now. Henrik Stenson, the captain of Europe's Ryder Cup team, and many other elite athletes have already nailed colors to the LIV mast. According to Chandler, who thinks the major golf circuits must come to terms with the Rebels or risk being abolished in the fall. They must all gather around the table and converse, otherwise they'll have a huge problem, Chandler continued. The Saudis ought to have gathered around the table and inquired about their needs when they raised their heads. The PGA Tour is haughty. I believe DP Tour World President Keith Pelley was attempting to do something. But it is now past the point of no return since LIV has gained too much momentum. It is pitiful that the PGA Tour will have three events using the same format at the end of the year, and they are unable to pay the same sum. Before the year is over, the tour needs to be completed. It isn't complicated science. You plan six LIV competitions on the PGA Tour, four on the DP World Tour, and four elsewhere in the world. It simply moves in tandem with everything else. They cannot afford to do otherwise. Chandler thinks the big money signature signings may soon stop, but the rumors persist. Second place Open champion Cameron Smith and former Masters champion Hideki Matsuyama are expected to join LIV Golf soon. Here are the future predictions made by each of the top 30 players in the world. Number 1. Scotty Scheffler The Masters champion responded, I don't think so, when asked whether there was a figure that could convince him to quit the PGA Tour. Number 2. Cameron Smith after winning the Open, Australian Cameron Smith, who had been linked to a £75 million switch to the LIV Tour, told reporters, My team cares about all that stuff. I'm here to compete in golf competitions. Number 3. Ryder McIlroy A poser who has spoken out, a simple solution, I don't want to take part in that. Number 4. Patrick Cantley There are rumours that Patrick Cantley is about to move, he added. My crew takes care of all that kind of stuff. Number 5. John Ram. The Spanish player, John Ram, is sticking put and declared in June that my heart is with the PGA Tour. Number 6. Chauffel Zander Right now I'm refusing to go. No, I won't be going. I wish to compete with the world's top athletes. Number 7. Justin Thomas The PGA Tour is the best place to play in the world, asserts American Justin Thomas. Number 8. C. Morikawa He has denied rumors, saying, I'm on the PGA Tour to stay and nothing has changed. Number 9. Vladimir Hovland Following rumors that he was being hired, the Norwegian told the local press in June, I have no plans to play in the LIV series. Number 10. Matt Fitzpatrick The US Open Championship, Matt Fitzpatrick, is staying put for the time being because LIV golf doesn't interest me. Number 11. Sam Burns He said that American is thought to be happy playing on the PGA Tour. Number 12. Jordan Spieth Reports I am considering someplace other than the PGA Tour are incorrect, Jordan Spieth said in response. Number 13. Will Zalatoris As goes, I'm dedicated to the DP World Tour and the PGA. There has been no change. Number 14. Hideki Matsuyama The £250 million move to LIV has been linked to the Japanese player Hideki Matsuyama, who just withdrew from the 3M Open. Number 15. Billy Horschel Speaking of a rift in the locker room while remaining still, he said, There are a lot of hypocrites. Number 16. Dustin Johnson He was the most well-known LIV defector and left the PGA Tour in June. Number 17. Tong Finau Since confirming an offer from LIV in January, Tony Finau, American, has kept mostly quiet and public. Number 18. Anthony Nyman Reports that were denied last month, I have nothing to say, I have no plans to leave. Number 19. Cameron Young Youngster He has not yet commented, although his stock increased after finishing second in the Open. Number 20. Abraman Rancher It's not a question, it's an absolute no-brainer, said the Mexican who signed up for the LIV Tour. 21. Max Homer You can buy a tour, but you can't buy my objectives and my dreams. He laughed off the idea of a move. Number 22. Brooks Kopka Four-time major champion, publicly altered his mind in June. My viewpoint changed, it ended there. Number 23, 
Shane Lowry. Irishman is happy to remain, he declared. I have nothing against them. I never found it appealing. Number 24, Kim Sung Jae. The PGA Tour has Koreans' complete commitment. I feel fortunate to have this platform. I am not affiliated with LIV. Number 25, Louis Ostuizen. To compete in the first LIV event, the South African quit the PGA Tour in early June. Number 26, Tommy Fleetwood. The Englishman's management staff has refuted rumors that he would join the LIV Tour. Number 27, Kevin Kisner. Saying, I feel comfortable supporting the PGA Tour and participating on the platform, the person is not interested. Number 28, Tyrrell Hatton. Englishman has been connected to a switch, but has not yet made a public statement about it. Number 29, Bryson DeCambeau. One of the first to commit to the LIV Tour was Showman, who paid £105 million early last month. Number 30, Daniel Berger. Despite conflicting claims, America is another country that hasn't released any statements to the public. The LIV Golf Invitational Series, a Saudi-funded initiative led by Greg Norman and LIV Golf Investments, has dominated the conversation in the golfing world. The $25 million curtain raiser at London's Centurion Club in June, when South African Charles Schwartzel won the $4 million prize, was immediately followed by the announcement of the series' specifics. When Brandon Grace won the second event in Portland, it turned into a South African double. We examined what we know about the LIV Golf Series and how it has changed the golf world as we knew it. After two iterations and the third scheduled to take place at Trump National Golf Club Bedminster in New Jersey. In a nutshell, there are eight tournaments total in the LIV Golf Series, including seven regular events and a season-ending team championship at Trump National Doral. Three rounds without a cut are included in each of the regular events, and play starts at a shotgun start. There is also a team structure with 12 teams of 4 players and a maximum of 48 players, with the teams being chosen randomly each week. Large $25 million payouts at each of the first 7 tournaments in the series, as well as a $50 million purse for the championship, have drawn players. Additionally, there is a bonus pool for the overall top performers. Greg Norman and Golf aren't exactly the first to use the idea of a breakaway league. In 1994, the former world number one proposed his own world golf tour, a lucrative eight-field competition that would showcase the finest players in the sport as independent contractors, free from the PGA Tour. Although Norman's plan for expanding the game never materialized, it is clear that he has always been determined to upset the golf industry's status quo. Now that it has been 28 years, the game is on the verge of a civil war, and an official league has been founded to challenge the current system. The Australian is sure that his product will succeed in the future, and calls the series a carrot too hard to resist. With the promise of an additional $2 billion in funding, Norman is ready to reveal plans to expand the series into a fully-fledged Super League by 2024. Complete with 14 tournaments, the addition of promotion, relegation and rankings, it has taken a significant financial investment to get the series off the ground. Each of the first seven regular competitions will have a purse of $25 million with $20 million in individual awards and $5 million going to the top three teams. The winner of each competition will receive a check for $4 million, while the last place will take home $120,000. The series will also name an individual champion, who will compete for a bonus pot of $30 million awarded to the top three season performers. A team championship with a $50 million total prize pool will be the eighth and final tournament of the season. The Players' Championship, the flagship and most prestigious event on the PGA Tour, is far behind the LIV Golf Series in terms of cash resources, which is nearly difficult for anyone to keep up with. For instance, the $25 million purse for the first LIV golf competition at the Centurion Club dwarfs the rival tournaments on the PGA and DP World Tour. The RBC Canadian Open had a prize pool of $8.7 million, while the Scandinavian Mixed had a payoff of $2 million. The narrative remains consistent throughout the whole LIV golf series calendar. Pablo Larrazabal, who has won seven DP Tour championships so far in his stellar career, placed 13th in the opening competition at Centurion Club and earned a check for $360,000. In comparison, this was a greater prize than the $333,330 and $250,000 he won for winning the My Golf Life Open and ISPS Honda Championship in Spain earlier in the year. So what will be the social outcome of this tournament? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. 
That's the end of this video. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.